Hey there! My name is Bo, and this is the Prophetic Love Notes. Sunburn Encounter style. This is the Prophetic team. I love them <laughs> so much, and I know that you do too. And I'm sitting here as I was praying as we were getting ready and preparing our hearts for prophesy prophesying. Um, I was thinking about the question that uh, you may have asked yourself. I know I've asked myself many times. I wonder what today will be like. I feel like the Lord wants us to, to take our day by force and no longer do we have to wonder what's going to take us, but we're actually going to take it with the power of our words. Take it. Take your day. Take it. And you know that we've been given power in our words to speak life and death into our day, into our future. And so I'm just praying a holy encouragement over, over you and over us that we would start, you know, taking our day and not let our day take us. So as we prophesy over you today, um, be encouraged, be blessed, but be, be blessed, but also receive this, um, receive this encouragement to start speaking your life and speaking God's will for your life into existence. The Bible says literally, you have not because you ask not. That's always been one of the most scary verses for me because I, I God forbid, I ever, I ever find out that I didn't have because I didn't ask. God is such a relational God. He desires relationship uh, with you. And um, and just start seeking Him, asking, knocking. The door will be open. Knock, and the door will be open. Knock, and the door will be open. That's a good word. That's a good word right mm -hmm. there. And so uh, we're starting with Nikki today. Uh, enjoy your word. Okay, I have a word for Trista. And... As I was praying for you, I kept hearing some songs go through my head. And as I was like writing down the songs, the, the lyrics that were coming through, it actually unfolded into a story. And I actually believe this is like a story, an adventure that you are going on right now with um, Papa God. So mm -hmm. I just wanted to um, just kind of read these lyrics over you um, to start off with. And I'm not quite sure if this is something from your past, if it's presently going on, or something for the future. But I know that this is. Um, I really believe that this is something that God is singing over you. The first song that I heard was um, came from the word joy, and the joy of the Lord is my strength. And then I heard an IHOP song, uh, which I believe is actually a heart's cry and declaration for you. And it is, Jesus, let me see your eyes. Let me feel your embrace. Let me feel you all around me. I was made for love. Whom the sun set free is free indeed, and there are no chains that can hinder me. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Now I have a purpose. Now I have a destiny. You made me for your glory. And then I heard a song from Bethel. Um, just a few lines of it. It said, hope, hope is alive in me for all the world to see that you are good. And I just, I mean, I truly believe that God is singing over you right now. And the verse that came to mind was Zephaniah 3.17. Mm -hmm. And it says, the Lord your God is in the midst of you, a mighty one, a savior who saves. He will rejoice over you with joy. He will rest in silent satisfaction. And in his love, he will be silent and make no mention of past sins or even recall them. He will exalt over you with singing. So I just bless that. And I ask, I just pray that the Lord would just wash you with his word and his rejoicing over you. I love that word Bo gave earlier. I just want to say, this is going to be the best day of your life. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a day full of joy mm -hmm. and peace. Everyone that's watching this, your day is going to be awesome. I have a word for Nick, and I heard the word alligator. And I looked up alligator, because I didn't, I didn't know what to, what to put with that. And they provide habitat for other animals during drought. I thought that was really interesting. And the large alligators are actually territorial as well. And what I felt like, I felt like God was saying is that you have a call to be a shepherd. And I feel like there's a role of protection on you. Uh, you, do, you do the best you possibly can to protect people or whatever's been given you. Like once something is in your hands, you'll lay down your life for that very thing. I see you as a provider for lots of people. And if this isn't now, I believe the Lord is going to make you one. Uh, I don't know when, but I, I really feel like you're going to be providing for a lot of people. Um, I see people coming from all over the place to be under your covering and your love. Even people who aren't Christians, and they're going to know God's love through you. 
Also with this word, I feel like you have a tender heart that loves to trust people. And that maybe your heart has been taken advantage to, or you've been you've had to close off a little bit to people. But I feel like God wants to take you into a place where you can fully trust in Him and find all of your value and worth in Him. And I feel like God wants you to know that you are not alone, brother. He is with you and for you and wants to be everything you need. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all of your ways, and He will make your paths straight. Bless you, brother. Mm. Hey, Lynn. I have a, I have a quick word for you. I felt the Lord say, uh, give it time. Give it patience. There's other things that you need to know right now. There's other things in life that you need to know right now. There's other areas in which to grow. Uh, and I felt, you know, I was looking outside, and I was considering the winter season, and I felt like the Lord is calling you to prepare for spring. The Lord is calling you to prepare for spring. You've got time now to work it out. You want it, here it is. There's no rush. You've got time to work it out. Give it patience. Give it time. And I thought of a, it's a pretty popular quote. I don't know who recorded it though. It says, be quick, but not in a hurry. Be quick, but not in a hurry. I feel like the Lord's um, saying, start things immediately, but nothing happens overnight. Mm. You know? So, so I bless you. I bless the combination between rest and urgency in your life. In Jesus' name. We're going to close this prophetic love notes with a song. And this song is going to glorify the name of Jesus. So um, having said that, we'll see you next week. Be blessed. Your name is like honey on my lips. Your spirit's like water to my soul. Your word is a lamp unto my feet. Jesus, we love you. We love you. Jesus, we love you. We love you. We love you. Love you. And we love you guys too. Amen. Goodbye.